Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the beautify generated 3D buildings as FBX, export as game ready FBX for any of your 3D animations and game developing software. So the beautify, if you not export the FBX properly, it will become troubles and after you import into any other 3D software, it, it is not working, it is not the building. It, it is just pieces. So start from now, I'm, I'm going to show you step by step the correct way to export the beautify generated 3D buildings. Right, first you, you may just go to my video descriptions to get the beautify for Blender. Follow this link and also get the blender. Once you already get and download the beautify, it is a zip folder. You have to right click and extract it into the folder. Now, the beautify is a blend file. It is already here. Next, you have to make sure you already installed the blender in your computer. The blender is a free software as well. Just go and download it. Then, once you already install the blender in your computer, you can just double click the beautify 1.0 blend file it is automatic open by using the blender so once you open it you will see this interface but now i will show you some simple ways to quickly generate some 3d buildings just click plus general sorry not here just click plus general layout just open a new layout to see in this way next just turn on the texture turn on the material so that you can see the texture and material to quickly generate the building first you have to click here click the wrench then you can see maximum floor maximum number of floors let's say now it's seven floors if you change it to become eight it is going to, to add floors let's say if you put 25 it will become a 25 floors apartment then you can change the shape of the building as well you have to change it to edit mode by choosing the edit mode you have three types of selections the first one is the vertices if you click the vertices then you click the move select the vertices and select the move then you can click on any of the vertices then you can move the vertices like this right if you click the the edge you can select the edge then if you click on any of the edge then you can you can move the edge this is another edge as well Of course, you can rotate the edge as well, like this. So this is the way to shape the building. Say this. Select the vertices. Click here. Move it. Then, you can design the whole building by your way. So this vertices. Vertex. Yes. All right. Done. If you if you feel satisfied already, you can modify the color of the building. First, you, you may just start start from the ground floor. Click the material here. This is the color, the base color. See. Just have a look. You can change it. Another one. Then the ground floor pillar. It is the same. This is another one. Always change the base color. This is the wall. Say if you want to have a orange wall. All of this
and next you may want to change the the windows color you may just drag here down to find the window the window glass then change the color of the window you may want to have a brighter color change it to become blue or cyan it's up to you you still have a base the building base that is the roof color change it here make it up If you feel satisfied already, first just save it as a backup. Let's say I op I create a new folder on my desktop, name this as building 05. Then first you save this Blender project as a backup. Click File Save As. Save it here. Copy the folder destination location. Control C to copy. And click here. Control V and press Enter. Then name this according to your building's name. Building. 05. Right now, once you really save it in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export the game ready FBX. But there's no direct method. Let's say if you direct export it as FBX. Right now, the folder 01 direct FBX. I'm going to test one by one to let you see what are the failures and what are the success way. So I click file export the FBX. The path mode I choose copy of course. This is to embed all of the materials. Then export in this location. Control V paste enter. The building 05 FBX. Export as FBX. If you export directly as FBX part, if you double click it actually to open it, it may have problems or break into pieces like, like this. So we don't want this type of the result. So there's no direct way to export the FBX. So if you direct export as FBX, this is a failure. Right. Now, I'm going to try a second method. Just right click new folder. We export as OBJ first, 0 02. Click File Export OBJ. You can see OBJ. You have two ways. The first one is the Wavefront OBJ. Another one is Wavefront OBJ Legacy. If you choose Legacy, right. OBJ Legacy. Click File Export OBJ Legacy inside this folder, the building 05 OBJ, click export OBJ. Now if you export the legacy OBJ, you double click and have a check. It is still a failure, you can see it all break into pieces. This is not the result that we want, of course. Actually the correct method is to export as the wavefront OBZ. This is the correct way. So I right click to create another new folder, 03 OBZ. Just now the legacy the legacy is a failure. Fail. So we direct export as OBZ. Click file exports wavefront OBZ. Export in this folder. export as wavefront obj then double click it yes this is the correct way however actually this obj it, it takes a combination of multiple meshes and multiple material it is not yet game ready if you import this into your 3D animations or 3D game engines, it will be troubles because it is multiple mesh. So we have to do one more 
one more job one more task to convert it to become F_B_X with just single mesh so now we may close this and don't save it so this is the correct way to export as OBZ success now inside this OBZ file we are going to open the blender import and export again to make it become game ready blender open the blender next delete these three items import the building 05 click file import of course for this time you import it you have to choose the wavefront obj as well import it this at this location control c to copy and paste it here control v and press enter import the obj directly now you can see this is the building that we want and everything already baked next we are going to make all of the multiple meshes into just one single mesh click the first one then scroll down hold the shift click the last one and then press ctrl J now you can see all already combined into just one single mesh you double click to rename it as building 05 this is a single mesh once it is a single mesh already then we are going to export it as final FBX just create a folder 04 final FBX first we may just save this blender file click file save as save it as a backup Building 05, save. Next, export as FBX file. The path mode you have to choose copy. Select here. Export. Now, finally, you'll get the FBX file. You double click and check. This is the Autodesk FBX review. Now you can see this is really the building. And we may test in some, some other 3D software. For example, the iClones. I close this. And I, I can close the blender. I don't save this. So let's say I test the iClone 7. The iClone 7 is a 3D animation software. To import this FBX, this is just a test to test the compatibility of the final FBX that exported from Blender. Right, for this case, I may just drag in the FBX file, drag and drop, and have a look, have a check, to see whether everything worked properly. Yes, now you can see, this prop, everything worked correctly, worked properly. Is that everything up to scale? Here I may just want to test, test a 3D avatar here. Go and find a 3D avatar. Drag and drop to here to look at the scale of the door with the 3D avatar. Is that match and up to the scale?
yes now you can see the three D avatar is up to the scale this three D building is up to the scale of the humans character this is exactly the door and this is the twenty five story apartment that created in blender just by using the beautify you can get the, the beautify for free the developer already released it in Gumroad and of course you can donate some money for the developer as well right so in this tutorial I already successfully show you how to use the beautify as a building generator to generate and create a 3d building and finally we export exported as a game ready FBX and you can use it in your 3d animation software or any of the 3d game engines and everything tested work I test by using the iPhone 7 it worked properly Right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!